My question is relating to agriculture and the importance of rethinking what we do. We're a very committed agricultural country. We have the capacity to um, keep that going, but to have new agricultural products, to have more protection of rivers, for example. Interested in some of the views of the <coughs> candidates. Thank you very much. Uh, Scott? Cool. So it's really important we take a global systems view on, on all these issues. So basically, and again, some people think this is irrelevant, but there's a new global logic here that needs to be applied on the local and national level, and that's what's not often brought to this table, OK? Um, because it's, we just assume this stuff. So anyway, when you understand the global logic of that, we have to double food production on this planet by 2050. It's not going to happen under current methods, and it's also not going to happen um, under the money system because 60% of countries will be bankrupt by 2050 because of the pyramid fraud we suffer under, these colonial era originated money system funding structures that none of these parties will address publicly but I understand why, because of our relationship with the US and all that, I get it, but it has to be addressed if you want a future. So at some point one of the colours up here is going to have to start talking about the money system funding structures that extract $40 billion from our economy a year, otherwise you're just going to see the farmers keep killing themselves. It's all about money. It all comes back to money. It's really important we understand these farmers are only killing themselves because they think they're not going to have a livelihood if we reduce production. And we have to reduce production. There's no question about that. 